What's going on guys? This is my Techware Phantom 87 key RGB mechanical keyboard. Now this video isn't a review on this keyboard, but this keyboard is just so good that I can't make a video with it without doing a quick review of it first. So this is a 10 keyless, fully mechanical, fully RGB mechanical keyboard for $46. It is by far the best budget mechanical keyboard on the market. I will have a link to it in the description. This thing is just so good. Like everything about it is just how, like I'm, I don't know how this thing is only $46 on Amazon. The build quality is just outstanding. It has an aluminum top plate, very good looking, no fingerprints whatsoever. The rest of the build is a really good hard plastic which I've, I've had no complaints about. Zero deck flex when typing. Build quality is just superb. This keyboard comes in red, blue, and brown Otemu switches. My model here has the red switches, which I will get to later. The cable is this nice thick braided cable. I do wish it was detachable, which it is not, but there are these channels on the back here where you can channel the braid the braided cable if you wanted to come out in the middle the side whichever side you want but i do wish it was usb-c detachable maybe in the later models we will see that the rgb on this keyboard is super bright super vibrant the customization options are endless there are so many modes and different just customization you can make it yours however you want with the colors and this big studio light and just lights everywhere and it's still shining bright I'm shocked that it's showing like this on camera. It is super bright and I think it, wh wh if anyone's into RGB, this is the keyboard for them. So overall for $46, like everyone should buy this. Everyone should buy this keyboard, whether e even if you have a lot of money, it's not just budget. It's so good. Like everything about it's really good, super clean. It looks really good. and. You just can't beat it for $46. My only wish, Techware, if you're listening to this, please make a 60%. I would buy that so fast. I've always wanted a 60% keyboard. 10 keyless is nice, but it's just kind of big, and I wish I can just have the 60% layout on my desk. So please make a 60%. It'll sell so much. But anyway, 10 keyless just works fine for now. But this video, like I said, isn't a review. Today I am customizing and upgrading this keyboard by putting in new switches and new keycaps. So the switches that are on this keyboard are not good. The day I got this keyboard, I knew I did not like the switches. These Otemu Reds are like squishy. They feel squishy. They're not smooth at all and they make a horrible like ringing sound when typing on it. I'll try to put in a clip of how they sound, but they are just... Now, if this is your first mechanical keyboard, you probably won't, you won't think they're that bad. You think I'm over exaggerating, but just for me coming from Gadron Reds to these Otemu Reds, these are really bad. Like they're just, they're cheap, which I get. And like, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's a $46 keyboard. So obviously they're going to cheap out in some places. And I guess in this case it is the switches, but Techware probably thought of that because this keyboard is hot swappable. That means you can just take these switches out and put in whatever switches you want that is the best feature in any keyboard and if that coming in a 46 dollar keyboard is insane hot swappable thank you otemu so yes today we will be swapping out these switches and taking advantage of that hot swap feature now it was a hard decision to make on what switches to buy i knew i wanted linear switches just because i'm a fan of linears over tactile and clicky switches i just didn't know which linears to get i wanted to get gadron just because i've had gadron reds before and they're really nice but i just didn't want to get reds again i've i've had two red switch keyboards and i wanted to try something new so i debated whether i should get clears or blacks 
But the big difference between those is clears are super light, whereas blacks are like way heavier. So I just like kept watching videos. I got so many mixed reviews on whether I should get blacks or clears until I found a really good in-between switch. Gateron yellows. So I got these Gateron yellows from Banggood. I will I'll put a link in the description and These are really nice. They're super linear. The weight is just really balanced in my opinion Not too light not too heavy and I'm just really excited to put these in and use them the ringing noise is far reduced on these switches which I'm very Glad to see that means they'll sound a lot better than these Otemu Reds. So yeah, Gather on Yellows is what we will be putting in our keyboard today. Really excited. Now I didn't know which like keycap set I wanted to buy, like what color set to buy. For the longest time I knew I wanted to get one, but there was just like there wasn't a keycap set that like really stood out to me on the market until Marquez Brownlee showed off his Keytron Keychron K2 in a dope tech episode and I fell in love with the keycap set he had on it. He had put like, like it was like a custom, I think it's called Dolch. I think that's what the colorway is called. It's like a nice um, gray and black. And he had put a red like accent key as the escape key and it just looked really nice. The gray, black and red. So I fell in love with that set and I wanted to and I wanted to get one, but like all the ones that I found online were like really cheap. They weren't that good. Like there was none I can find that were double shot. They were all like laser etched legends until I found on Amazon this a Dolch black and gray keycap set, double shot, really clean looking. Oh wow, that's awesome. It comes with a keycap remover. I'll be using that really thick good quality keycaps and it's the exact color i was looking for but i couldn't find like a, a gray like it didn't have the red accent key which i really wanted and of course i could have just painted it but that probably wouldn't have like looked so good so i got i also got this keycap set it's like a, there's only like how many is there one two three nine they're the wasd the arrow keys and the escape key, but I got this just for the escape key, for the red escape key. So these are these are also double shot. So I'm so glad I found these. I will link both this keycap set and this set. If you guys wanna get the same set, those will be there for you. But for this, I will only be using the escape key. I'm not gonna put the WASD in other ones. I just want the escape key, the red escape key. I think it's gonna look really good. All right, so I'm gonna start off by removing the keycaps and I will be using the included keycap puller. First, I'm gonna turn off, but first I'm gonna turn off my PC so I don't click random. All right. Alright, so I've removed all the keycaps. Now I'm gonna quickly dust off all the food particles and dust that's left in between the key switches so that they don't fall into the keyboard when I remove the switches. Alright, now the keyboard's dusted. I'm going to take my key switch remover this comes with this keyboard, so you guys don't have to worry about that if you plan on using the hot swap feature. So now I'm going to use it and start removing the switches. Now removing the switches is like kind of stressful at first because like you don't know, you feel like you're going to break the switch. Like they're quite snugly in there and you got to really tug on them until they fly out. So don't worry, you're not breaking your keyboard when you're <laughs> there tugging on the switches. So I'm going to start removing them. Oh, yeah, 
Yep. Just like that. <laughs> Don't forget when you guys are removing the switches, there are these two tabs that you want to tightly push down on while you're pulling. <laughs> All right, we got all the switches out, and all I can say is note to self, buy a professional key switch puller. This thing has like my blood on it. <laughs> Ow, that's messed up. All right, but we got the switches out. Now I'm going to open up the Gateron yellows. I'm gonna put these in off camera because my camera's about to die and I just wanna get these in. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so the switches are in. It was a pain to put them in just because this pin on the Gateron yellows is wider than the Otemu reds. So every time I wanted to put a switch in, I had to take a pair of pliers and just squeeze them like that to make it thinner. But once I did that, I was able to get all the switches in just fine. I tested them all on keyboardtester.com and they're all working. So now, now I'm going to open the keycap sets and start putting them in. Alright guys, so I've been using my upgraded keyboard for a few days now and I cannot be more happier with the way this turned out. The Gateron yellows are super buttery smooth. The weight on them is perfectly balanced. They're, they feel really good to type on and game on. Just an overall great switch. And the keycap set looks super clean. The gray, black, and red look just fits perfectly on this keyboard. I actually put two red key caps kind of across from each other to to kind of balance out the whole look of the keyboard. Just makes it just looks super good. The key caps are thick. They don't they're not cheap feeling. They feel really good to type on. And I'm just feel like I have a multi hundred dollar keyboard. So I'm just super happy with the way this keyboard turned out. But thank you for watching. I'm going to end the video with a super long sound test so you can hear what the keyboard sounds like while typing and gaming.